10 week will have to go flat it'll just have to be like right here we start here's the beginning of the year and we started to tilt right there but not very much not like you see this long descending weekly here we were just coming down a little bit and they walked it this is the beginning of a very potential devastating re-emerging bear market trend or bear market trend from bull trend you must be aware of it what are the keys these big red bars are much greater on the sell side of the weekly that equals five days than the previous two week up bars that means that anything that goes up is to be sold and to be sold short I can say that we're not nearly as overbought so some of the good things are that in cycles weekly cycles just like we just had a two week up move and a big failure is nothing goes straight down forever once they make that relief trend they sell off and they give it up we are so close to a weekly sell signal that once that weekly sell signal starts just like it did over here you go down hard that's these blue bars called moving averages convergence divergence uh, called the MACD and there is some truth into that and the thing about it is if you want to learn more about it then contact us at stockmarketpending.com and what I'm going to say is once it starts once that weekly moving average sell signal hits that S&P you ain't got no support till you get down here to 980 and that's where the breakout trend started the whole bull trend started right about there right here in this bar right there and that was on 719 of 2009 almost one year ago for one year from where we came off the low took out this last part of this resistance area right here back in 08 before we put in that last final round of selling so that's ultimately going to be that support level I will tell you that when the weekly move starts and the days that you do get up moves for people that are holding 401ks and IRAs and whatnot hey do yourself a favor at this point in the game unless you have that real hardcore daily guidance and daily training you don't belong in the market not right here not right now over here that was a big short cover rally that came off with all the stimulants and whatnot hey so you got a nice run I'm telling you it's over and until that 10 week can flatten out like it did here and as long as it's declining any move up I'm a short seller on uh, I'm gonna buy put options on the S&P I'm gonna buy bear funds I'm gonna do all kinds of things so resistance is where it stops not only that I'm gonna show you a lower high reversal as well this red bar that high is lower than the last reversal bar right here so basically when we breach and close below that 50 week moving average we don't have any support until we get down to this 980 handle on the S&P that's about a hundred points below there selling short that would make you a lot a lot a lot of money at that key breaking point the bullish part of anything is the 10 week and the 20 week are 10 weeks in difference the 10 week is still holding up here at resistance meaning that you come up and you sell off and you can go up and you can sell off that 10 week moving average this MACD down here about to go into a sell signal we're not nearly as overbought as we were <coughs> so that means that when we do break below here like anything folks you're going to get these relief trends back up this is where people start thinking that oh it's great oh I knew it was going to go higher no sorry you're wrong that's resistance that 10 week has crossed over S&P official bear market be careful look for the earnings season that starts in July 12th as I said what you're looking for is the 10 week this blue line to be flat 
until that day happens and it continues to descend, the longer mathematical descending part of this 10-week moving average, the, the weaker the up moves will be just as they were here. Uh, once again, welcome to stockmarketfunding.com. We are in a complete bear trend reversal cycle. Must be careful. Watch what you're doing in these markets. Understand when you buy off the bottom, you're selling in here. Or if you have a portfolio and you haven't got out on the up days, you want to be selling into strength. For the people who need our assistance, we're here. We have lots and lots of index videos that we have showed. We call this down move. We call that top before it happened. It's right there on the home page of Stock Market Funding. Go familiar yourself with it. Familiarize yourself with it. But we're in grave trouble here. Not us at Stock Market Funding because when, when we go down, we make money. When this falls, we get to make money. But you, on the other hand, if you're holding long equities that are in the S&P, those equities in the S&P are going to go up and fall over. So we're at a very major crossroad of an extreme. Right now, we're, we are in what we call a bear reversal cycle. But we're, uh, we're, we're coming down here, folks, to hitting that weekly sell signal. Once that happens, as you can see, when weekly sell signal started over here, never got back above and we just went down miserably when that started so basically a close below that zero line and a close below the 50 week and a continuing decline in the blue line which is the 10 week and the and let me just tell you one thing that you need to know mathematically the farther the 10 week drops below the 20 the weaker and weaker that this trend will get. I officially have a closing price below that that 50 week moving average. That's this purple line. Once again, stay tuned at stockmarketfunding.com. I will tell you, watch the blue line. The farther it falls below the red line, it's a weekly moving average crossover. Close below the 50 week. And I'm giving you a full bear market reversal right here and now. 